Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Can't tell we put the table to get used. What are we doing today? We're going to do a Franken lawnmower. This is my Troy built TB360 lawnmower that took a dumper. So, um, this lawnmower back about five years ago was like $269, which is a pretty good deal, I thought, at the time. But now, the same lawnmower to replace it, it's like almost $400. So, um, motor took a dumper, didn't really want to spend the money to buy another lawnmower, seen some other people have done it. So, went out and bought the Predator vertical shaft, 173cc overhead valve, Honda clone motor, and we're going to replace it. I've done unbolted engine off of this one to do that. Really? 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 Yeah. Airplanes? Let's try to shoot a video? Dang it. Anyway. And then I bolted the motor off of this one. It's simple enough to do. Three bolts at the bottom, remove the blade, comes off, just like that. So, now let's go ahead and set this down. Y'all seen what we're doing? Yeah, because the body on that is perfect. Um, let's go ahead and take our Predator engine out. Like I said, 173cc Honda clone overhead valve. We got our um, yeah, our throttle linkage and everything over here. Air filter, gas. I didn't gas it. I didn't oil it. I'm actually gonna give it a test fire. Um, hit the little primer pump on the front about five times, and this is fired up on the first shot. So we're good there. This is basically how you're gonna get it out the box. It's gonna have this little tag on it. Quick start guide. It comes wrapped in plastic. Now, however, and it comes with a spark plug wrench. That's all you're getting when you get the motor, and it comes with a um, safety instruction book kind of thing. So, we're going to stick that back in there. Now, the only problem I did run into, unfortunately, is the fact that the Predator motor. Over here, you guys. Predator motor only give you one bolt, and I knew this on the reviews and stuff. Um, everybody said that Predator motor only comes with one bolt. You got to go and buy two more bolts. The bolts in. But I went ahead and they're here somewhere. I went ahead and bought four bolts. So they're gonna go ahead and put lock washers. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and put lock washers and all that on there. And the bolts you will need, I'm gonna hold those up there for you guys. Let me get around here and see if you can see that. All right, I'll hold it right there. You can pause the video so you can see the number. So you're gonna need two packs of those. Got those that try to supply. Then you're gonna need some big flat washers. No. All those there, you can pause and get the number or size, whatever you might want to need. Alright, and I went ahead and got some lock washers. And I go ahead and likewise there, size, barcode. Got it? Okay, so we're going to need that to bolt the engine into place. Now, the other thing is this the Predator engine. The Predator engine here has a place for your speed controller. Oh, darn it, where's that? Here. Um, nope, here. Faster throw, slow. See the throttle controller? Well, my old lawnmower did not come with a throttle controller. So, back in the watch. So, I had to go to Home Depot and got this. Power care, throttle control, thingy, and it was $6.99 at the Home Depot. There's your barcode, model number, universal. So you gotta get you one of these if your lawnmower does not come with a throttle controller. And we got us a new replacement blade. Because that's what happened to my other blade. <laughs> that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, so well that over there. That's a good place for it. And, oh. 
and had to do a little box. Now, for the um, throttle controller, we had to get, yes. We had to get a pack of these. This is a M8 1.25, 50 millimeter, by an inch and a half. So there's that. And then we had, of course, had to grab a couple of little nuts there. M8 1.25, whatever. And that's what we're gonna have to have to put the throttle controller on the lawnmower handle. So, and here's our blade adapter. Now I will say this, I'm sketchy. My lawnmower is rear wheel drive self repel Now the Predator engine shaft is a 7 8 inch, 22.2 millimeter. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a one inch. It fits, but it's a little tad bit like loose until you bolt it down. Once you bolt it down and you get that bolt in there extremely tight, it did not move none. So other people, if you do not have a self-propelled lawnmower, not worry about to, or not worry about yourself propelling, there is a seven eighths inch to. There's an adapter, a different um, blade adapter that you can get to for it to work properly. So we got all of our stuff. Got to have you. Got to have your dooski. Got to have your diet Mountain Dew. That's another thing you gotta have. Gotta have the do. Gotta do the do while you're doing this deal. Okay, um, what do I need here? Alright. Dirty work surface. We got our thing there. So, I'll just get our body back up on the table. I don't want to deal with those are doing. Alright. So, we got our body back up there. Now, take our mower. Oh, actually, and the Troy Belt lawnmower here, the body and the um, bolt holes for the Predator engine, perfect. Uh, let's see here. You know, there's some other videos of people doing this. And um, I guess it's maybe they're more experienced at this. I really should call my channel Robert Van Hoy's things that you never thought that you would find yourself doing. I never would think, I never would have thought that I would have found myself building a um, Frankenstein lawnmower. Yes. I'm not a small engine repair mechanic. I have never done this before. And as with anything, I mean, if you haven't done anything before, just, you know, here's the deal. If somebody put it together, there was probably a point in time of their life that they didn't know what they were doing. So if you can just follow behind what somebody else done, then you should be good to go. I gotta get some wire cutters. Get the fire tile. Uh, <laughs> My point of that is don't think that you can't do it. Just, you know, look at how something is put together and then just simply reverse the process. Or in this case, um, where I'm having to add this controller, it's very simple. The cable here, if I can never get it undone, without just smacking me in the face would be really a good bonus. So, all right, we got two ends of matching cables, right? Well, there's a spring-loaded end, which I think you're supposed to be able to cut that. And then, let me see here. This is actually supposed to go into there. Like so, yeah. So, this, the one with the cover removed will go in here. Or maybe it's actually a reverse way around. So, like I said, let's figure it out. Uh, in the instructions, it said to separate 
these two pieces very carefully. All right, that we did. Yeah. Let's see how it works. Okay. I'll bring this over here to you guys. Sorry, this is going to be a long time, a long video. Okay. So, we had to separate this piece. And you say I'm not reading the instructions. So, we know that, obviously, a little cable is going to have to go in here. Right? Right. That's the only thing you can do. And then we know that we're going to want to hold said cable in place. And then we want the throttle lever to pull the cable. So, that would be like that. Okay, and that's snapped right into place. So now let's take this piece and make sure we get our line back over it, which I'm not doing. You know guys, I can usually do some of this stuff a lot faster. And I'm not trying to worry about doing a video. Somehow, when I'm trying to do these videos, there we go. Now, see, our cable won't pull out because we had that thing. And then when we move our lever, that is obviously going to push our cable in and out, which is therefore going to move our throttle. So, that's the cable put together. Get over here. Now let's find somewhere to put the cable. Well, my instinct would be to say maybe we need to go here and we can try to come up here maybe, but I think the screw is in the wrong position. And if we try to do this, which would probably work. But then we got our thing here. So right here seems to be about our own real hook. So all right. Now let me jump around you guys. Let's see here. Where is I just had my shoulder in the off. I did show y'all this, right? For mounting this to the lawnmower, we're gonna need a, yeah, M8 1.25. Y'all have seen that. So, let's see if we can find that. Now, it, um, some people would like the throttle controller moaned and cried about it being too, um, the cable not being long enough or short enough. Well, yes, you can cut and readjust these cables, but you can also just route it around a different way if the cable is too long or something like that. So, let's go ahead. We got our flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. So, we are going to go ahead and and I got a screw that was too big. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, y'all see that? Man, it was perfect for this. I thought it was perfect for that. But I got y'all. Yeah, actually, it is perfect for that. Alright. Alright, well, it's a work in progress. Uh, I'm going to pause this video so I can get my drill bits and shit together, and we'll be right back. Alright y'all, we just had to drill out a little bit. I got, I went with an M8. Probably should have just went with, I should have just got an M6, but, oh well. It is what it is, right? So, we just throw our little controller through there. We go ahead and get our flat washer, lock washer. And our nut, actually, hold on. I'm gonna reverse this. Not really reverse it. I'm 
my cheekbones forever. Eh, I like that better. I just you like that better. The controller is actually universal, you can put it on either way. So, yep, we're just going to do that. There. We're going to grab our pair of pliers. Like so. We're going to be very careful. This is just some chintzy little plastic. So. I recommend doing that by hand. Alright, so this will get routed down through here and across here. And it will hook in these guys. I got a mess in this car for it, y'all. Y'all, excuse it. This is why I'm home. Y'all think y'all got it bad? Y'all try being a truck driver gone three weeks at a time and then get back to you trying to do your yard work and get caught up on that stuff. And then you got to build a lawnmower, so. Y'all, let's see here. We got our throttle controller here. And then this little cable goes into there. Trying to hurry, y'all. Turn it. Don't forget it. Or you can just use a Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen this. This is what's going to hold your cable into place. Now, I found it easier to hook that cable in first. Then, bring this back. Yes, it's going to want to fight, of course. Bring this back around. Give it a pull. And it's got a little slot right there that we're going to try to get that to go back into. And this is going to be what adjust. Okay, that needs to be on slow. Adjust it here with what you're doing up here. That's all the way forward to slow, so we need to make sure that she's pushed in. There she is, that's where she's gonna want to be. Then go ahead and tighten her down. Get a test. See if the cable slips when we operate it. Nope. Perfect. All the way down to slow. All the way back to fast. Very good. Works for me. Alright, that's how you install a universal throttler cable. And like I said, if the cable seems to be a little too long, you know, it's up to how you route it. You can Round it around different ways, but it's fine. I mean, you know, you can get some zip ties and just come down 
and do one more test to make sure that's the way I want it. Yep, that's gravy. That's gravy. All right, pause this out, and we're gonna switch around to something different. All right, y'all. I know I did. Um, I skipped over a bunch of stuff. I got sidetracked. <laughs> Yeah, man, we got sidetracked, baby. Anyway, let's let you guys know. Frank and Moore fixed. We didn't. We got sidetracked and ended up cutting the grass. We'll show you guys. Call from Rodney. Guys, Frank and Moore turned out really good, worked real well, and um, yeah, as y'all can see here, we got a lot of yard work to do, y'all. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know somebody made a comment about me sounding nasally and all this other stuff. Yeah, I'm bothered by allergies. Can't help it, y'all. Ain't no thing but chicken wings. So here's where I haven't been able to cut yet. And yeah, I cut through all that crap right there. I didn't give that poor little Harbor Freight um, motor its break-in period that they were um, talking about. And um, see, I got this tree falling down here and then got some of it chopped up. I gotta finish getting some of this cleared out. And y'all wanna know why I don't have time to get anything done on my car stereo projects. Then, big tree falling down over there. I gotta get that done. I gotta get this backyard cut, dog balls. Um, yeah, I got a lot of work to do, y'all, and this is why I can't get anything done. Cause, you know, when you're, you know, when you're gone two and three weeks at a time like I am, this is what you come home to sometimes. Huh? This has been longer than a few weeks, but I put it off. We're getting it done now. But yeah, if you need a new lawnmower, don't buy a new lawnmower. Go to Harbor Freight. Hell, you know what? Even if you need a new lawnmower, maybe what you might want to do is find somebody that's got a, you know, a body like I had here. Sorry about that. Like I had here. And then um, go to Harbor Freight, buy you the $125 motor, the $6 throttle controller, yeah, I mean, you can probably get a body for free. So, yeah, got 173 cc, really good lawnmower now, brand new. Yeah, for 150 bucks, $300 lawnmower. So, winner, winner, right? All right, we'll catch y'all later in the next one. I got work to do. I'm tired already. Like, subscribe.